Good people, welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again in what seems like a dream to so many people, especially from Oshun State, the tribunal, election tribunal that was sitting in Oshun State has finally sacked Davido's uncle, who was declared the winner of uh, the August 2022 uh, um, election in Osun State. You know, he was declared the winner and uh, he was uh, brought into power as the governor of Osun State. But right now, the tribunal have sacked Adeleke and have declared APC's uh, Yetola winner of the governorship election. Now, according to the news, the Oshun State Election Petition Tribunal has nullified the election of Ademola Adeleke of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and declared Boyega Yetola governorship candidate of the All Progressive Congress in the July 16, 2022 election as the winner of their elections. In August 2022, Ayetola, a former Shun state governor and the APC, petitioned the tribunal to challenge the election victory of Adeleke. Among several issues for consideration, Ayetola contended that there was over voting in 749 polling units across 10 local government areas of the state. The Justice Tese Kumele panel in its judgment on Friday said there was overvoting on the examination of Bibas manipulation. The tribunal declared that the election body INEC should withdraw the certificate of return issued to Adeleke and issue the same to Ayetola. The majority judgment, which was read by the chairman, Justice Kume, said Ayetola got the majority of lawful vote of 314,931, while Adeleke had 219,666 votes. That's a huge difference. And uh, I must say, Nigerians are really, really reacting to this sudden change. Uh, when I say sudden change, this is really a sudden change. And um, I don't know what the Adelike family would do about this because this is almost like the second time it's happening. And someone here says, this is crazy. I remember Adelike also won a tribunal last time, I think. No, where Adelike is getting robbed twice. They have to go for appeal, I guess. This one said, this is the rubbish that will end come 25th of February 2023. Another one here says, I am fed up with this system that robs citizens of the right to choose. Why do we have to go through pain, waste our time under the sun for us, only for one judge to sit down at one corner and rubbish our effort? Maybe next time you just take the candidates to court and let the judge decide. Hmm. Another person here says, truth is that there was overvoting in some local government area which both parties, APC and PDP, were involved. They both acknowledged it, even INEC, to confirm it. Another one here says, very funny panel of judges. Right from the proceeding, I had perceived that justice Kume won't be reasonable. Well, Adeleke remained on the seat until final pronouncement. By the Supreme Court. This one here said, This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Could this be a turn around of what Ayetullah says that their mandate will be retrieved? Well, the court have given a judgment, but there should be an appeal if the judgment is invalid. This one here says, So Adelike didn't change the state chief judge immediately. He entered office error everywhere. I don't know if he did. This one says, Something I just don't understand this country. How can you sack a governor who haven't spent up to two months on? No reactions are coming in, I must say. Someone here says Tinibu is the worst thing to have happened to Southwest. He has bribed the judge. Tinibu wants to use a Yetola to rig election. A delicate must go no way. Wow. This one here says, Don't despair. Enjoy the right. Supreme Court, not the final cuckoo. Another person here say, I simply do not understand. I thought BVAs was used. Was used. How come we had overvoting? 
this whole thing is difficult to understand. Hope all this will be cleared before the general election, especially on BVA. Another person here says, if Oyedola finally win this, then I am taking my mind off general election because I don't understand on what ground is Ayetola winning the election when I need the Gladeleke as the winner. Now, there's a lot of fears with what we've just seen here. You know, don't forget that APC is the ruling party. APC being the ruling party means a lot of things can be manipulated and uh, if um, Nigerians are not on standby to protect our votes and also to have details of a lot of things, then we may find ourselves whining again, even if the outcome of the election will be to our favor. So I feel that this is coming very timely. Timely in the sense that Nigerians must prepare themselves. We must prepare ourselves to the point whereby all the petty, petty details that needs to be kept intact for days like this, we must put it down so that at the end of the day, we will not be found wanting. Don't forget that uh, APC from all indication or the ruling party from all indication will not want to hear stories. They have already, they feel that um, the upcoming especially presidential election belongs to them. And if they believe it belongs to them, then Nigerians, if truly we use one victory, we must make sure that everything is very fair and clear. And I, I will want to use this opportunity to beg uh, those who feel that they are in charge of this country. Um, the time has come for the youth to retrieve Nigeria, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Please, let's allow the election to be free and fair, and people should own up to defeat when it comes. It shouldn't be something that you start running helter-skelter, bribing people up and down. Already, we have seen the decays of this country, and we need an able hand, you know, to help us out. Nigerians should wake up to the consciousness that um, 2023, there must be a visible change. And that visible change will come when the right person takes over the seat. Let me still read one or two things. Another person here says that the game is clear. Supreme Court will declare Adeleke winner by then. It will be over for Yetola to appeal, but so upon all the BVAs use still the rig election or what I am beginning to remove my mind from Nigerian elections. People are really talking, I must say. This one said, there are two judgments given by the tribunal, one in favor of PDP and the other in favor of the petitioner. The next battle moves to appeal by both parties that to school remain as Governor Demola Jackson Adeleke remain in office inside life. Yeah, we know that Adeleke would not step down immediately um, because there should be immediate appeal of the case. That has always been the situation. In as much as he has entered into that seat, there is no way you can send him packing except when court comes up with their own jurisdiction. But then he needs to wake up, waking up in the sense that he needs to fight and pull all the required strings strings that will make him win at the end of the day. Someone says, so with just one governorship election, the INEC can't protect and defend their BVS. Yeah, yeah, Nigeria. Okay, he said, Nigeria, please don't misinform us. No, he said, INEC, please don't misinform Nigerians. The election is overly important to us. Do all it takes to make sure that we walk away happy. You want to say, I don't understand this judgment. How does overvoting take place with the use of BBAs? And how did they arrive at the judgment and the fault of Senator Adeleke in? And how did they arrive at giving the judgment in favor of former governor? Nigeria no claim me at all. This one say, maybe only by PVC again, or just get your security weapon cost now. War with the coffees. For next chapter now, no more, my brother. I don't even know what's going to be the case like because the way things are going, Nigerians need to wake up and stand their ground on this issue. That's where we like to leave it. Good.